meet the starting lineup for the visiting Washington Wizards. At small forward, Corey Kispert. At point guard, Monte Morris. At forward, Kyle Kuzma. At center, Christoph Porzingis. At the other guard position, Bradley Beal. The head coach of the visiting team is Wes Unseld Jr. Thanks very much, guys. Now, it's no secret at the end of quarters, players will wait until just after the buzzer sounds to fire up heaves so they won't hurt their field goal percentage. To encourage a nothing-to-lose approach on these plays, many say it's past time that the league only counts the makes in those situations. Kevin, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it is. Do it. Thanks, T.A. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. Morris and Beal are the guards. Kuzma will step in at the four. Porzingis at center. And it's Kispert in at small forward. And for Portland, at lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. Little out there with Grant. And it's Eubanks in at the five down low. And for so long, the Blazers have had great guard play. Yeah, Lillard and McCollum with a great tandem back there. But defensively, there were some gaps, and now it's Lillard and Simon, so they've gotten even a little bit smaller. This has been a strength of the Blazers for a decade now, and it just comes at you in a little bit different package. A three from Porzingis. The He's shot's good on the assist by Morris. Persingas has got the opening field goal of the game for Washington. Lillard from outside. Rebound by the Wizards. Last time they met was in Washington. Yeah, and you hate to lose the kind of game where it just seems like it gets away from you. They played good basketball for most of it, but then just collapsed and opened that door for the comeback. Morris, no good. For the Washington Wizards, they come in off the loss to the Golden State Warriors. And Lillard kicks to Simons. Off target from three-point range. Washington's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Kuzma with a screen on Lillard. Morris finds Porzingis. Knocks down the three ball. Porzingis. Porzingis has got his second Porzingis. bucket of the night. That's a confident shot from Porzingis. And when he's pulling that quick, you know he's feeling it. That's a two from Lillard. Portland no good that time either. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. 
Morris with the screen for Beal. Shoots over Lillard, and Beal gets it to go. Beal takes on the offensive load and does a great job here to score. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Grant. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. And while we have a change here, the teams that have swatted away the most shots this season. In fourth, the Wizards. I mean, terrific rim protection. I mean, they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody. And of course, you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots. And that continues to be the goal. To the wing on the left. Lillard from outside. Drills it from outside. And off the shine here. One of five, but that's a big one. And the Wizards with possession. Morris finds Kuzma. Gisbert setting the pin for Kuzma. The Wizards working the ball around now. Beal and Washington again with the bucket. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Grant with a screen on Morris. Takes the three. And Damian Lillard, good for the three. Lillard's got a couple of threes now in the first of the Trailblazers. And the call will be against Anthony Simon. Anthony Simon. That is his first foul first of the game. Personal foul. Here we sit right first in the middle foul. of the season, Brent. Halfway through a long schedule. It's got to be a grind for these players. Oh, yeah. These are the dog days, Kevin. And the thing that you want to do is make sure that you're continuing to come with that mentality that you want to improve. And there may be days where physically it's tougher. There might be days where mentally it's tougher. But those kind of players, all collectively put together, are going to end up achieving something in any given season. Grant sets a screen for Lillard over Morris. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Porzingis with a screen on Simon. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Personal foul. Yeah, that was the third straight high-percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. That free throw good from Porzingis. And the Wizards, one of these teams that's still in search of an identity. They've got a lot of skilled players, but it's really hard to say right now what this team is all about. Now, here's Lillard. This game out, he had 40 points. Bucket is good. Yeah, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. As to Porzingis. Porzingis with a screen on Simon. And the dunk by Porzingis. You gotta appreciate Porzingis, a willing screener, and he rolls quick to the open space. And Portland has possession. They trail by seven. A factor in Washington's lack of identity has to be Brent, their frequent roster changes. And yeah, no doubt, Kevin, there's been a revolving door there in the front office makes a, a lot of moves. They're just trying to capture something, trying to get their star player healthy, and trying to regroup and see if something clicks. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Wizards leading by seven. Morris outside. Porzingis with a screen on Simon. 
the nine foot shot, and Porzingis gets it to go on the assist from Beal. 13 points for Porzingis. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Looking now at some numbers for Anthony Simons. Blazers trail by nine. Lillard scanning the floor. Drills the three-pointer. Lillard's got 11 points. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Morris kicks to Kuzma. Oh, Kuzma's in position. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. Smart pass from Porzingis, just a better shot available. Lillard with it. He's got 11. The pass to Eubanks. Grant outside. Pocket six. Doesn't go that time. Nice D from Porzingis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Nasir Little picks one up. The closer Porzingis gets to the basket, the more aggressive he becomes. And for good reason, he's going to get fouled. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Wizards. How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness, everyone here just playing for one another, and that can be infectious. Getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. throws good for Porzingis and we see Portland revamping on the fly a lot of changes but it's not a rebuild this new look roster hoping to keep the Blazers relevant while also giving them a greater upside long term and the zero Damian Lillard wears on his jersey is more than just a number to him yeah great we know that represents the letter O as Dane grew up in Oakland went to college in Ogden and became an NBA star in Oregon. Oh my, that's a lot of O's. First free throw is good. And you look at the loyalty Lord has shown, stuck with the Blazers through thick and thin. It's why he is beloved in Portland. Free throw is good from Lillard. And at some point, Greg, you wonder if Lillard is the greatest Blazer of all time. Listen, he is in the conversation. You'd have to include Walden Drexler up there. But Lillard's resume in Portland has a strong argument. Now, here's Kuzma. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. Kispert, wide open. He fires. How good on the three. Trail Blazers, trail by eight. And here is Simon. Last game out, he had 14. Lillard with it. Now guarded by Porzingis. Pass to Morris. Now Kuzma. Wizards passing it around. They get it back. Porzingis. And finished off by Kristaps Porzingis. Well, it's clear that Porzingis has some athleticism. That dunk right there, ferocious. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Simons kicks to Little. Lillard outside. 
And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Damian Lillard. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got their first. In for, the for the Wizards, Abdias check in for Kispert. DeLon and it's DeLon right in for Morris. Washington leading now by 10. Outside, Beal. Porzingis sets the pick for Beal. No good with the triple. And it's Willard with the ball. He brings it up for the Portland Trailblazers. A three. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Now here's Beal. 33 points last game. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Over in the corner, Lillard. Grant the pass to Simons. He shoot again. That one, no good. Ice D from Porzingis. Washington's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Porzingis sets the pick for right. Shoots over Simon. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Here's what Portland's going with right now. Watford's checked in. Reddish comes in for Nasir Little. Sharps checked in for Inferni Simons. And it's Johnson in for Lillard. And a change for the Wizards. Gafford's checked in. And right, no good on that one. Brent with the way shooting has evolved. Do you think they might move the three-point line further out at some point? I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon, but I have heard some great ideas, and who knows? And sometimes Reddish might defer too often, and maybe sometimes that's true. But also, give him credit for being unselfish. Wizards leading by seven. Right, the pass to Beal. Gafford sets the pick for Beal. And the wide open shot from Abdia. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Grant outside. They set the pick. Pass to Watford. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And a chance here to check out some stats for Abdia. He's really stood out for them over the past month. He's averaging 14 points a game, seven rebounds, and two assists. And he's done his share of the work for the team, definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. And he knocks down the first one. 2022, Greg, a year for the Washington Wizards with some historic significance. And it marks 25 years of the Washington Wizards' name being on an NBA jersey. A cool moment for the current players who can look back on this franchise and know they're a part of history. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And you look at the young talent the Blazers have, a nice young core group that can grow. Simon's the big name from that crew. Now here's Beal. Right now he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. Good work there as it goes. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Grant outside. Tries from 10. Misses off the left iron. And Simons and Little Greg, a pair of names Portland fans are definitely excited about. And, and they've shown that they can be valuable players. Portland got a lot younger with the trades they made last year. Now they have to have that youth develop. Trailblazers trail by 10. Pass to Reddish. 
Here's Watford. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Portland shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. And how about as a group, 80% on the, the season, for one of their best Trent attributes. Kevin Knox has checked in for Portland. For one. seasons it, it feels like the Washington Wizards roster is in constant flux I mean from role players to all-stars guys coming in and out and Beal gets it to go doing a lot of nice work now from the field he's helped get them this lead and now he's helped them keep it the pass to Johnson and the rejection by Gafford Avdia kicks to right. There's the pass to Gafford. This is to Beal. Gafford sets the pick for Beal. Unloads from 13. Kuzma. The offensive rebound. Gafford misses. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Portland. Nine point game. Three pointer. And the three ball is good. Johnson's got his second bucket of the night. For Washington, how difficult, Greg, is it to win when your roster changes, as you were just talking about? It changes so much from year to year. It's really tough. I mean, take Spencer Dinwiddie. You know, he signs a big three-year deal, traded six months later. So when things like that happen, it's so difficult to create that chemistry. To the On average, four to six Daniel coaching Denver. changes happen after every one. regular season. And in 2021, the Trailblazers parted ways with their coach after nine seasons. And Chauncey Billups was brought in as their new leader. Kendrick Nunn, he's jacked in for Beal. Well, we know, Brent, the Blazers' front office really seems to like Coach Chauncey Billups. They feel he brings a certain toughness to that team. Yeah, the accountability part is, is what they lean on with Chauncey and obviously a, a great connection in the point guard mentality between Chauncey and Damian Moore. Immediately a lot of respect given to him because of how he carried himself in his career. So it's been a welcome change for the organization, and we'll see if they can build upon last year. Here's none. Following the basket by Cam Reddish. The shot's good from Gafford. Gafford. Gafford's got five points so far. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now, Reddish. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. No question there's a high ceiling for Cam Reddish and where that That's talent can get him to. Trailblazers. The Trailblazers shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Two shots. And the first one drops. And so he makes both from the line. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line. And when he's on, he can be lights out. Now here's Kuzma. From the arc. A 
three-pointer is right on target. He has seven. And this is where Kuzma wants to just keep improving, find some consistency. He knows guys like him have to keep hitting threes to stay on the floor. And so it's the Washington Wizards with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And the three-point shot has been big for him. And we'll be right back after this. Game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And what stands out to you from Washington in this one? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. Trailblazers trail by 10. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. Little out there with Cameron Reddish. And it's Eubanks in at the center, filling out the middle. They're the group the Portland Trailblazers will start the second quarter with. Wizards. And with every season, Brad, it seems like the league gets first, more diverse and international. It certainly first keeps the play five. interesting. Well, the, the skill the set of trailblazers. the younger players that come into the league is absolutely scintillating. And those different styles, those different techniques, that's the great thing about basketball is that you can find something within each player that you'd like to steal or borrow, but it's unique to them. And the first one at the line is good. Well, voted one of the top 75 NBA players of all time. We should be enjoying the seasons that Damian Lillard is putting up in the next couple years. No free throws good from Lillard. Wizards leading by eight. Here's none. He's coming off a 13-point game against Golden State. Kispert, no good. And so Lillard will bring it up for the trailblazer. He kicks it to Little. Fires the three. That shot off. Now the Wizards take it the other way. Moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. Well, let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Lillard outside. It's up a three, cranes it from beyond the arc. Lillard's got 21. Yeah, and even after all those three-pointers he hit in that first quarter, it looks like the D still didn't learn its lesson as they've left him open for another one. Now, here's none. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. The Wizards have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for Reddish. About a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Lillard with it. He's got 21. And it's Lillard again missing. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Well, back in 2017, Denny played professionally in his home country, representing Israeli basketball. He was a stud. And for Avdia, he managed Brent to rack up three consecutive Israeli League championships. Yeah, he really was the go-to guy. He became the youngest MVP in league history at the tender age of 19. So doing all of that before entering the 2020 draft had a lot of NBA teams intrigued that, look, this guy has played in big games and in big moments. Could he do that for us? And 
and he makes the first. Despite these injury concerns over the past few years, you can't doubt the talent of Porzingis. I mean, this guy is capable of 20-point nights every time he steps out there on the floor. Wizards making a switch here. Beals checked in. And both free throws good for Porzingis. And staying healthy for Porzingis has been a challenge over his career. Not uncommon for players standing well above seven feet. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much. Now, Kristaps Porzingis famously earned the nickname the Unicorn for his combination of size and skill. Former All-Star, injuries have held him back. But now a new team presents a new opportunity. KP says, I'm going to take my game to the next level because my body is going to be healthy. And that's it. Well, Kevin, let's hope so. Absolutely. He has had injuries along the way. But the talent is obvious. David, thanks. And in New York, even before his injuries, the front office voiced concerns about Porzingis' ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players 7-2 and up, not great. In, in today's game, demands more movement from big men than ever before. Now, here is Morris. After the miss from Damian Lillard, Porzingis with a screen on Simon. The second effort. And Porzingis with the lay-in. Porzingis. Porzingis has got 23 points. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Here's Lillard. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, Lillard is fearless, able to take that hit and calmly knock one down and one. Brent Nasir Little has certainly been stepping up lately, hasn't he? That's yeah, some nice progression from him and taking on more responsibility for this team. Obviously, with star players out, the coaching staff's going to lean on some of their younger players, and that might accelerate the growth. Nasir Little certainly took a lot of pride in being an energy guy and a defender last year, and that's going to bode well for his foundation. He throw good, Damian Lillard. Wizards leading by 14. Porzingis sets the pick for Beal. Launches a three, and it's Porzingis that time on the assist from Beal. Three points. Beal's got six assists here tonight. First three of the quarter and third overall, guys. The defense might want to step up just a little bit on him from this point on. Now, here's Lillard. He's got 24. Buries the long-range jumper. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Morris passes to Persingas, lays it up and this banks it in. Persingas has got 11 points in the quarter. Defense shaking their heads, no idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Trailblazers trail by 16. Passes it to Little. Kicks it out to Lillard. Grant outside. No good on the triple. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Avdia. And the basket is good. Avdia has got his second bucket tonight. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Pass to Lillard. Fires for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Lillard's got 30 points. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Now here's Beal. He's got eight. There's the pick. Morris passes to Persingas. It's good. And the Wizards lead by 17. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. And here is Simon. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Jonah. That's a lot of hard work in the offseason for Jeremy Grant to become better at the mid-range. Finding some footing there. For Washington, they've gone 8 of 10 from the field here in the second quarter. You've got to like how they've shot the ball. Persingas sets the pick for Morris. Step back shot. Eubanks grabs the miss. Eubanks got his sixth rebound on the night. 
Here's Grant. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. But he's such an athletic forward. Absorbing contact is something that he's learning to do, getting much better at it. Here's Beal. Porzingis with a screen on Simon. Here's Beal, and the Wizards getting Bradley another bucket Beal. right there. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's Morris after the Trailblazers pick up two. Beal, the pass to Persingas. He can't get that one to fall. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Pass to Grant. The dish to Little. Five on the clock. Three-pointer, Simon. Avdia with the rebound. Kicks to Morris. Now the pass to Persingas. To the inside. And it's tonight. Diamond's on the wing. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Now, here is Morris. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And Beal kicks to Porzingis. Outside, Beal. A three-pointer, no good. Simons has got the ball here for Portland. Trailing by 13. Back to Lillard. Three-pointer. Rebound, Washington. Persingas has got seven rebounds in the game. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. It's good. Abdiev's got seven. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Now a timeout called by Portland. Different look now for Portland. Rodford's checked in, and Matisse Thibel subbed in for Nasir Little. And then for Washington, Daniel Gafford's checked in for Avdia. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Kispert. And it's DeLon right in for Morris. Now, here's Sharp. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Nobody near Lillard. Good on the triple. Simply one of the best shooting performances you are ever going to see. A three-point barrage. Right, the pass to Persingas. Oh, Kuzma's in position. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. So it's Portland now. It's a 14-point game. Here's Sharp. He had 15 points last out. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Grant with a nice heads-up play, willing to make the next pass. Washington's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Passes to Beal. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul. First Trailblazers first making foul. a switch here. Knox is checked in. Foul. And a switcher also for Washington. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Beal. Trailblazers on D. Down by 12. Perzingis with a screen on Lillard. Outside, Perzingis. It's good from long range. Perzingis has got 33. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Lillard from outside, and he's good on the three ball. Yeah, Damian Lillard, this is some Oaktown response. You make one, I got you back. And right kicks to Gafford. The Wizards working the ball around now. Lillard against none. 
Lillard outside. To the right side. Just five to shoot. From deep three point range, it's rebounded by Persingas. Persingas has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Right, the pass to Gaffer. Two and here's nine. In the first half. Two minutes. Back to Gafford. Washington again turning it over. Just a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last several months for Bradley Beal. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing for them offensively. The points just haven't been there for him like they were a few months back. The defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustment. Missile blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. He's made all five of his attempts at the line so far. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free-throw line in their last out. Personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Portland. Watch out. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Right outside. Done a screen on Lillard. And right kicks to nine. Sinks the triple. Kendrick Nunn. Nunn's got six Three. points in the quarter. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes. And they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Trailblazers trail by 12. Lillard, right side. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. He is just self-willing, this team right now, doing everything he can to keep them alive. Right, the pass to Persingas. Kuzma outside. Gafford sets the pick for right. Pass to Gafford. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Gafford's got his third basket of the night right there. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Lillard against Wright. And Lillard gets double teamed. All eyes on Dame that time, so he just moves the ball casually right to the open teammate. Washington leading now by 10. Right down low, covered by Lillard, out to the wing. Gafford sets the pick for none. Pass to Gafford. Yep, that one goes in there. Gafford's got nine. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Sharp, the pass to Thibel. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Thibel's got his first points in this one. A big time effort for Persingas, providing a lot of energy for the Washington Wizards. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Bradley, a strong first half for you and the team. It looked like you guys really were ready to play. Was that something Coach emphasized? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, we wanted to hit them first. We weren't going to check any temperatures, as he said. So we were not going to just let guys do what they want to do. We we're going to come out and be the aggressor, and we did that. Obviously, have to maintain that in the second half. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit.
Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. And looking at the Kings, Mac, they've certainly got their work cut out for them. They'll have to be at their absolute best to get the win. That includes the second unit and the rest of the bench. It's all hands on deck. Now let's talk about our game tonight. A nightmare of a first half for the Trailblazers. They wouldn't be in such a deep hole if they hadn't given up so many offensive rebounds. Getting out hustled, getting moved around, losing possessions. The one thing you can control is effort. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Really an incredible game from Lillard. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. Checking out now the group for West Huntsville Jr. to start the second half. Kuzma will step in at the four. Porzingis at center. Morris and Beal are the guards. And it's Kispert in at the three spot. Wizards leading by eight. You know, Greg Anthony, people talk about Jeremy Grant as a scorer. But what about his passing? Significantly better moving the ball along. He, he's leaving no stone unturned as he looks to maximize his ability. Nice shot by Porzingis. Porzingis not letting anything or anyone get in his way right now offensively. Over to the left wing. Grant down low. He's against Kuzma. Simons. And it's sent back by Morris. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. As to Persingas. Fires the three. Portland grabs the miss. And the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. And Lillard gets double teamed. Grant for three. Porzingis with the rebound. Persingas has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. A three. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Morris has got six assists here tonight. Well, one of the better shooters we've seen over seven feet as Porzingis able to knock down a distant shot. Now, here's Lillard, and he's got 41. Grant for three. Good on the three-point shot. Grant's got five points now this quarter. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And Simons has it in the corner. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. And Anthony believing in himself that time, just zero hesitation on that chip. The pass to Kuzma. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. There's the three. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks very much. Now, the Blazers missed the playoffs last season for the first time in almost a decade. Coach Phillips says, it's been a lot here so far, but I just know that I'm built for this. This is what I do, and it gives me the opportunity to stand up as a man and show that I can lead. I'm ready for it. Kevin? I think he is, and he's embracing the challenge, which is uh, fun to watch. David, thanks. So, timeout called here, the first for the Wizards. When these players get to the free throw line, it's nearly automatic. The 2K leaderboard show us this month's free throw shooting percentage leaders. Damian Lillard, number one. Porzingis, fourth. 
they have both been unconscious from the free throw line. I mean, you could put a blindfold on them and it wouldn't matter. Wizards ball starts the second half. Let's hear it for your trailblazers. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. This is it to Kuzma. Back to Porzingis. And it's blocked. Grant against Morris. There it goes. It's in. And the Wizards lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Grant. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. Morris dishes to Beal. Morris with a screen on Simon. Here's Beal. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. And that bucket should stop the bleeding. For Portland, they've gone 6 of 8 on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Grant down low. Guarded by Kuzma. Simons. Good, and Grant hits the assist. Grant's got five assists in the game. Well, defense comes right at Simons inside, but he's staying pretty poised on that play. Washington's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Morris passes to Persingas. And he uses the glass on the lane. Persingas has got 40 points. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Now, here's Simon. Seven points in the game. And the Trailblazers, another three. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Morris passes to Kispert. There's the screen. Pass to Kuzma. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal. And a player opt out for Kyle Kuzma after this season. GA probably hoping to earn himself a raise. Yeah, and he's a worker looking to round out his game and take that next step as he's just entering his prime. First one falls. There's all these little attributes to Kyle Kuzma's game that you start to see show themselves. He's developing as a passer and as a rebounder. I think his best basketball is still ahead of him. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Reddish is checked in. Abdiaz checked in for Washington. And both free throws good for Kuzma. Portland trailing here. Johnson outside. Here's Grant. Rebound by Kispert. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now, here's Kuzma. 13 points in the game. Now Grant has to Simon. Grant, right side. Over Avdia. And Portland again with the bucket. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Here's Morris, following the basket by Jeremy Grant. Kispert, the pass to Avdia. Kuzma with it. Banked in off the glass. Kuzma's got 15 points. Yeah, and Kuzma's going to get thirsty now the way he's going. Johnson the pass to Little. The pass to Simons. Six to shoot. Passes it to Little for the lead. Washington with the rebound. Beal's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He dishes it to Abdiya. The Wizards working the ball around now. Good. 14 points for Beal. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Johnson with it. He has five. 
And it's Little atop the key. Up top, Reddish. Over Kispert. A shot by Reddish, no good. Wizards leading by four. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Take a look at the Wizards. They would be at the golf course if the playoffs happened today. Looking to make a final push. And you know, for the Wizards, they've shown me some very good things this season. But that next step, those qualities that could make them true contenders, just haven't been there. Now, you just don't want to sit in the middle for too long. You either want to be competing against the top teams or starting to strategize where you can position yourself for a high lottery pick and maybe turn around your franchise's fortunes. Shot clock at two. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And a moment now to see the numbers for Morris. Some impressive play from him over the last month. He's putting up about 12 points a game, five assists, and three rebounds. And you Wizard love how he facilitates their offense. Half. Just a terrific decision maker. So many times it's with the extra pass, and man, he's delivering. Out to Kuzma. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got assist number seven for him tonight. Beal against Simon. Wants to get it to Grant and does. And the layup's good off the glass. Grant's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Simon's playing unselfish. That's going to help this team get in a great rhythm. Kuzma finds Beal. Hands it from downtown. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Little. No points in the game yet for him. Johnson against Morris. Pass to Little for the three. That one's not going to go. And it's Washington the other way. And then they continue to control the glass. Avdia kicks to Morris. Dishes to Beal. Now, here's Avdia. He's guarded by Johnson. That's good from Beal on the assist by Avdia. And now a nine-point Washington lead. Simons has got the ball here for Portland. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. To the paint, here's Grant. Rebound, Washington. Abdiev's got six rebounds now in the game. Morris dishes to Kispert. He kicks it to Abdiev. Pass to Kuzma. Six on the shot clock. That shot, no good. And for Portland, they're shooting almost 60% from the field here in the third. They are really feeling it. Screened by Grant. And Simons wide open. He'll fight. Traps in the tray. Simons has got 11 points here in just the second half. Washington calls timeout. Charge to Washington. Almost entirely new group here for Portland. Otford's checked in. Kevin Knox comes in for Grant. Sharps checked in for Inferni Simons. And Lillard subbed in for Johnson. And then for Washington, Daniel Gafford's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Kendrick Nunn comes in for Kispert. And it's DeLon right in for Morris. Wizards ball starts the second half. Let's hear it for your Trail Blazers D. Two minutes remaining in the third. Nunn gets to right. Avdia with a screen for right. Gafford passes to Beal. Four on the clock. Jacks up a three. No good that time. And the Trail Blazers going the other way. Lillard against Wright, 11 feet away. Jump shot is good that time. Lillard's got 49 points in the game. And I think a coaching staff is okay when Lillard plays like this and he starts to force the issue a little bit. Gafford sets the pick for none. Back to Wright. Gafford sets the pick for Wright. And the pass to Gafford. 
Lillard with the rebound. Lillard's got four rebounds in this game. Takes a three. Washington with the rebound. They led by as many as 18 points. And Wright kicks to Beal. Here's Gafford. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Now, here's Lillard. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Here's Gafford. Kicks to right. Back to Gafford. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently neither did the defenders. Three-pointer Lillard. And a great show through three quarters. Three. As we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Wizards lead by five. From Portland. We're back in a moment. 107. Watford into the five, patrolling the paint. That's the group on the floor for Portland. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. More and more as Porzingis is playing these minutes and has these scoring opportunities, he's dealing with the contact much better. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now, racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. Well, they've also put an emphasis on driving inside in this game. The defense hasn't been able to stop them from finding those gaps. Trailblazers trail by eight. Pass to Sharp. Little from outside. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Now oh, here's Wright. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Washington. Dillon Wright at the line for two. One falls for them. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Grant, he's checked in for Knox. And so Wright nails both of them. Blazers trail by 10. And here's Sharp. That's the Bible. Lillard outside. Fires from deep. Again, what an avalanche. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Porzingis sets the pick for none. Shoots the three. Second chance shot. Gafford misses. Portland's gone one of two from three-point range here in the fourth. 
Sharp the pass to Watford. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Nice vision from the youngster. Sharp that time. Wizards leading by five. Porzingis sets the pick for right. Tries from seven. And that's off the glass and in. Wow. He doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Oh, what an impressive triple drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And, and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Three-pointer, Miller, and again for three. And this parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. Oh, and that latest triple ties him for second for the most threes in the game. What a monster he's been from deep. Yeah, almost impossible to stop down low at 7-3. Porzingis over the top. Eubanks, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. And Fernie Simons comes in for Sharp. And then for Washington, Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Daniel Gafford. And Morris subbed in for Wright. Blazers trail by seven. Simons surveying the D. Fibel the pass to Simons. Grant outside. Five to shoot. Down low. From ten feet out. Rebound Washington. Kuzma's got his fifth rebound in this one. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Bible with the ball. Now guarded by Porzingis. And shooters must beware. Porzingis is down there lurking. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And sharp instincts on D there. Just the timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Kispert's checked in for Avdia. Here's Simon, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. Foul. A slow start, but this Gray. quarter, he has really been there. Greg, when you watch and Fernie First Simons play, foul. you can see the burst he has on the ball. For your and that goes for him attacking the rim and Shooting rising up one. for a shot. Impossible to stay in front of him with that quick first step. And with his skill and athleticism, boy, the sky's the limit. throw good Simon an NBA all defense for two years running Matisse Thibel has been a game-changing defender from the minute he set foot in the NBA now here's none driving the lane it's blocked Thibel the pass to Simon here's Lillard feeds to Grant good great play by Lillard to set it up Oh, just a two-point Wizards lead. And Greg, we know at Washington, Thibel was the college defensive player of the year, averaging three and a half steals in over two blocks a game. And per minute, not far off that pace in the pros. His opponent field goal percentage last season good for second best in the league. Morris outside. Kuzma passes to Persingas. Washington needs to get a shot off here. Kuzma can't get it to go. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Grant with a screen on Morris. That's the fight to take the lead. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. Alert against Morris. And there's the pass to Persingas. Gisbert setting the pick for Persingas. And right away, they match Good it with a three-pointer of their own. Persingas has got 49 points in the game. 
Miller against Morris. Grant with a screen on Morris. And Lillard kicks to Grant. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Wizards have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Morris looking over the floor. Porzingis passes to Morris. Shoots over Simon. They grab their own miss. Here's Persingis. Not going to go that time. Trailblazers have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Simons against Morris. This is it to Thibault. Now here's Lillard. There's the triple. That one doesn't go. Here's Morris. Here's none. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Fourth personal. That's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Little's checked in. Blazers trail by five. Now a timeout called by Blazers. Porzingis with a strong contribution so far in this one. Not sure what the defense is thinking or if they are. They continue to let him shoot. That is bad defense. And with our reporter, David Aldridge. Guys, over the break, Chauncey Billups had some advice for his team. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort gang rebounding everyone involved that was his only focus Kevin thank you David Grant finds Lillard here's the three Kuzma pulls it in and he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Now Morris, back to Kuzma, from past the arc. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Simons has got four rebounds now tonight. Lillard outside. Let's it go from connects again from distance. And of course it falls for him. That three pushes him into the history books. Rally is now tied for the most threes in a game. This is a night we will never forget. Up top, Morris. Covered by Lillard. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Fifth personal foul. Team foul. Shooting for Washington, Monte Morris. Two shots. Free throw good for Morris. Wizards making a switch here. Beals checked in. Drops them both. Here's Simons. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not so unlucky 13 shots. Well, Simons known for a guy who can really get it going from behind the line, and he can do some damage. He's got length and vertical ability from there. Now here's Beal. Outside, Brzingis. And another miss by Washington. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Alert against Morris. Eubanks. 
And he dumps it down. If you look at career assist numbers for Damian Lillard, the stats don't really jump off the page at you. He's been asked to score more. But he's a creative playmaker when need be. Deal with it. Porzingis with a screen on Simon. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call. He will shoot two. Eubanks, and so he's picked up his final foul. He will sit for the rest of this game. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Watford's checked in. Taking two shots. And that one falls for Beal. Bradley Beal has been one of the most consistent scorers in the game year after year. He is an offensive machine. Free throws good for Beal. GA, he's asked to carry a big time scoring, one, but Bradley Beal makes his teammates better as well. And that's an area, Kevin, he has really grown in his playmaking when the defense overcommits, you make them pay with the pass. The Wizards with the lead. And here is Morris. Morris with the screen for Beal. He kicks to Kispert. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. A good heads up from Bradley Beal just spots the ready shooter. Portland's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. And it's Grant in the corner. Misses the three. And it's Kuzma with the ball for Washington. Morris passes to Persingas. Back to Morris. And it's Beal in the corner. Ripped away. Here's Grant. And the dunk by Grant. In the last few years, we've seen a nice leap from Jeremy Grant, including how effective he can be in that spot. Wizards leading by three. Morris passes to Persingas. Yet another bucket that gives him 51. Making it look easy. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Trailblazers are shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. Three-pointer Miller. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got four rebounds in this game. Wasted no time on that one. And now it's an eight-point Wizards lead. They're trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. Trailblazers are shooting 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more than that from your offense. And it's Simons missing. Wizards have gone eight of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Morris finds Beal. Morris with a screen on Simon. Out to Porzingis. On the wing, Morris. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Nasir Little picks one up. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Morris at the line for two. Free throw good for Morris. And Morris drops them both. Trailblazers trail by 10. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And Lillard kicks to Little. To halt the run. Grant with the bucket getting it done inside. 
Grant's got 17 now, just in the second half. Here's Beal. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Bradley Beal, so thick and strong, gets fouled, but still manages to get that shot off. For the Wizards, Bradley Beal taking two shots. Throw good, Beal. And both free throws good for Beal. Trailblazers trail by 10. Three point for Miller. Good, another from three. And that is a three that will put him in the record book. A historic performance by a historically good shooter. One of the best games anybody has ever had. Washington calls timeout. Play in the final four. Three, teacher, make a little noise. Washington ball starts the fourth and final quarter. It's six man time. Simons against Beal. For your Blazer team. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. And he gets it to go. Beal's got 15 points in just the second half. Bradley Beal, one of the best scorers in the NBA. Here's Willard. And easy two points on the way. He's been carrying them all night on offense, but at some point, he's going to need some help. Beal against Simon. Here's Persingas. Gets himself open and drills it. Persingas has got 53. C-T-H. Can't teach height. Porzingis is big and completes the play. To the middle. Watford passes to Grant. Morris against Lillard. Back to Grant. And Grant slams it home. Man, Jeremy Grant is one of those guys that's capable of highlight dunks on a nightly basis. That time, vicious finish. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. They led by as many as 18 points. Porzingis kicks to Kispert. Doesn't go for him. Now Portland takes it the other way. This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. Now you can't make any mistakes right here if you want to keep hope alive. Their execution has to be precise. Now here's Porzingis after the miss from Damian Lillard. Nice ball movement by Washington. Guys, let's just go ahead and call this one. It's over. You want to keep expending energy, or do you want to start thinking about the next one? And Washington can just let the clock run down here. Now, here is Morris. So Washington takes the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Chris Stops, you got it going early tonight. What got you into that rhythm early? Uh, you know, just from the beginning, uh, being focused, knocking down the first couple of shots, you start to feel good, and you just keep going. Well, you had the flow tonight, man, and it led to the win. Congrats. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. 
For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. Now, let's check out our New Balance Player of the Game, Kristaps Porzingis.